Bonjour Bridget. Bonjour Hanan, bonjour Thierry. Hello Hanan. Bonjour Bridget. I like what you, I mean your hair, your hairstyle is really good. Merci, merci <laughs> beaucoup. Et ça tombe bien parce que je vous parle cheveux aujourd'hui justement. Et cheveux afro plus particulièrement. Alors, c'est la relation. Hair, uh, afro hair in particular, for so long the black women's uh, relationship to their hair has been that of love and hate. But over time, African hair in its most natural state has been completely democratized to the point of becoming a militant act. As for the young woman that, were of, that is of interest this morning, that name is Elizabeth She is 21 years old, Ivorian, and, as, and our hair speaks louder than words, basically. See how she uses a hair sculpture to intrigue, shock, and most importantly, had a voice to the global conversation that really matters to us, such as feminism, racism, and recently to draw attention to the Me Too campaign against sexual harassment in Hollywood. For that reason, she sculpted her hair in the image of a man lifting a woman's skirt, which started out of a unique skill. It was actually purely by chance. I came across an Instagram account showcasing pictures of women in African tribes. You know, women in these tribes are very visual. The clothing, the jewelry, the hairstyles. I was amazed by the hairstyles and I told myself, my God, how is it possible to do this with hair? I need to give it a try. And I always had this ability to design, style or braid hair without particularly taking any lessons. So I started to try things. To give her hairstyles that outstanding edge, Leticia uses accessories such as metal wires, angles, and sometimes pieces of African fabric. Today she has over 800,000 followers on Instagram and more than 35,000 fans on Facebook. In the beginning, it was really only for fun to share my universe with the people following me, to show them that I am creative, that I like to have fun with the way things look, because I like photography too. But after that, when I realized that things took a different turn, that it was impacting women, that I was receiving messages from people who were telling me how they were inspired by me and by my work, that it encouraged them to keep pushing, I became more responsible. After that, it is not just for fun anymore. Now, when I post something, I try to put a message behind, to keep on inspiring and to help the people following me. Leticia is very passionate about celebrating Africa and highlighting black women beauty. She says it's undervalued in a, in a world where the standard tends more towards being white. I don't have any peculiar source of inspiration, but it's true that there's this one thing that I usually try to promote in my sculptures. It's highlighting black beauty. It's very important for me, especially since my work is going more and more global, because in my opinion, black beauty is not promoted the way it should be on an international level. A graduate of commerce, Leticia has recently decided to focus on art. She's working on a fashion line inspired by the same team of confidence seen in art. She's also working on, scrim on scrim script writing. Her main character is an African heroine whose superpowers come from her hair. Before concluding quickly, we must give honor to Mon Isdio. Before Leticia, a photographer had already been distinguished by his impressive air sculptures. I'm talking about the late Nigerian photographer Gigi Oke Ojekere. His analog black and white photographs features hairstyles imagined and made by Nigerian women. Beyond this aestheticism for women, this as styles were the reflection of a return of their origins who, after post-colonial era, had somehow freed themselves from the Western standards. His work is currently exhibited in France at the Daoulas Abbey, alongside the works of Medina Duga, um, an American photographer based in Lagos. Her photographs are largely inspired by Oje Kiri with a contem contemporary twist. Look at these vibrant colors, called chroma. When would such exhibition take place in Africa? That's the question. Merci beaucoup, Bridget. Thank you, Jeremiah. Yes, and um, just before you go, I mean, especially talking about air, what air style are you wearing? Tell me. Oh, I will call it uh, retro with a touch of modernism. Retro? Retro. 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 Oh, okay. Oui. Excellent. I mean, it looks really great, and you look fabulous this Monday morning. Thank you so much. Ça va très très bien. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci à tous les deux. Merci également à vous qui avez été avec nous ce matin. Well, thank you all for being with us. Je suis Bridget Hugué.